Hey everybody, right down here, Sulo, you're back again with another video. Today we're reacting to another Illuminati video. Strict father rejects gay son. What happens is shocking. Let's get into it, guys. Hey, my son has got the best arm in the entire state. Look, I can see the ESPN headline now. Trent Johnson, the reason why Tom Brady did not come back from retirement. Dad, we can't get ahead of ourselves. It was only the first day of practice. Hey, hey, son. He played in Generation Hope video. Since you were born, I've always known that you're going to be uh, special. <laughs> you're only saying that because you're my dad. No, no, I don't just say that to anyone. Look, Reverend Grant the other night Speaking told of me Reverend Grant, what happened last night? It looked like he was here until very late. Surprise! Holy smokes, this day can't get any better! Carl, how is this even possible? How are you here right now? So, all my classes got canceled this week. One of our lecture buildings had some crazy pipe burst. Then I realized, I have all week off. And what better place to go with a whole week off? At home! With my little brother and wonderful dad. Get in here! <laughs> hey, wait a second. How did you keep this a secret? I, I monitor all of your credit cards, and I didn't see an airplane ticket. Well, that's because I have the best roommate in the world who, who offered to cover my ticket as long as I brought him here with me. Surprise! Tony! That's his boyfriend. Hey! Wow, I gotta hand it to you, Tony. It's been pretty lonely here at home with just Dad. No offense. And I'll admit it, I missed you, big bro. <laughs> hey, Tony. That was really sweet. We'll take you out to all the finest places in Oakmont. I can't wait. All right, now you two guys go freshen up, uh, but you're gonna have to room together because the guest bedroom, well, turned out into a yeah! Dang, Dad. <laughs> I knew you were getting swole. <laughs> oh, believe me, they want a room together. That's fine. We're, we're totally used to sleeping in the same room because we're roommates and all. That's awesome. All right, let's get ready for dinner. You know, even if your room wasn't a gym, I'd still sneak into the sleep next to you. <laughs> you know, I don't even remember what it's like to sleep alone anymore. <laughs> and you know, I definitely cannot go to sleep unless you big spoon me. <laughs> so, uh, I will be shocked if his brother hear their conversation. And then what if they get walked in on and they're sleeping together in the same bed? Um, are you gonna tell them? <laughs> um... We've been over this many times, okay? I've told you. I'm gonna play it by ear, and if an opportunity comes up, then I will try. Carl, I hate it when you do this. We've been together for six months now. You've already met my parents, they know everything about us. I just hate it when you're so disingenuous. Now, you and I both know that's Don't not argue all word. loud at his house, his parents' around. house. You know what I mean. Okay, I'm sorry, you're right. Look, I just, I know I put up a front around my family, but it's because I'm scared, okay? I don't know what's gonna happen if I tell them I'm gay. We've always been really religious. That shouldn't matter. Whether you're gay or straight, if they love you, then they'll love you no matter what. Right. When I came out to my parents, they already knew, but they were excited for me. And I want that for you. I know. And your parents are so good to me. But you know, you can't judge your parents and mine the same way. They're different. I wish my dad was as cool as your parents. I do. Okay, like I said, I'll try, okay? So, are you going to tell them at dinner? Do you hear yourself? Just stop! He don't know yet. He's trying to figure that out. Stop. I've told you I'm gonna try, okay? You're just like pressuring me that I have to do it right here, right now, okay? We just got here. I just don't want to be with someone who's not gonna be honest to themselves and others. I've got the finest pizza in all of Oakmont. 
Freaking Carl can eat a whole one on their own. That's impressive. I'd like to see what your appetite is. Why don't you grab a slice? Shouldn't we say grace before or? How could we forget? I'm sorry. Bless us, O Lord, and these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we can eat. Yes. So, uh, Tony, what's it like to be Carl's roommate? It's great. Actually, we have most of the same classes, so we're always studying together. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. So, you guys are focused, right? No girlfriends or anything? Uh, I'm actually gay, sir. Oh, that's good for you, Tony. He's okay with himself. He okay to say he's gay. But he he didn't out him yet. He was just like, oh, I'm gay, by the way. But, like, still, even just saying that, some parents automatically be like, well, if he's gay and my son is hanging with him, then my son probably gay. And so, uh, Carl, you're not uh, distracted by any of uh, Tony's boyfriends, are you? Not yet. <laughs> we actually... What? Are you about to say Yeah, something? don't tell for him. <laughs> You guys, what nonsense. Uh, I'm gonna rewind it a little bit. What if we were dating? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not yet. We actually, what? Are you about to say you two were dating? <laughs> yeah. You guys, what nonsense. What if we were dating? Quit kidding, Carl. You're not gay. And if oh, his dad's starting to get offended. Were we'd all know about it? Would there be something wrong though if he was gay? No, y'all wouldn't all know about it. <laughs> that's a scenario that's never gonna happen. So I don't even have to worry about it. Well, Dad, it's time you hear the impossible. I'm gay, and Tony is my boyfriend. You guys. Dad. Look at it all. Oh, God. Wait. You're actually gay? Since when? Since forever. I have always been gay and I've always had to fight it my whole life until I met Tony. No. 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 My son is not gay. I can't stand when parents be like, no, no, like, you can't deny how your son feel. You don't know how he feel. What did you do to him? He didn't do nothing. Nothing. I just told him to embrace who he is. Carl, maybe confused. Maybe you don't realize that you're putting your health at risk. This is against your upbringing. This is against our religion. Dad, I am more sure of this than anything else in the world. Our health isn't at risk. We've been careful. We've been taking precautions. We've been taking tests. Well, you don't have to do that if you're having sex. Trent, don't say it. I mean, obviously they're having sex. <laughs> Any man who lies with another man shall not inherit God's kingdom. You two are no longer welcomed in this house. Now get out! I don't believe in that. Like, I don't know, guys. Like, I believe in God or whatever. But, like, I just feel like a lot of Christians are holier than thou people. I feel like they'd be the main ones judging everybody else for everybody's life decisions. But God doesn't judge. So it's like how one how one minute they preach about how God don't judge and how you're supposed to forgive and love everybody. But then when it's something that they don't like, here they go judging. So now what am I supposed to believe? So when somebody tells me that, you know, gay people are going to hell or you don't inherit God's kingdom. I don't believe that because it's a lot of things that, you know, we see this, you know. In the Bible, and the Bible says, you know, thou shall not judge. But then here you go, judging. You know, but then you guys want to preach about how God don't judge. 
So we all know in the Bible it does say, you know, they do talk about Solomon and Gomorrah and the gays and all that. But every sin is equal. So just like how somebody may got a tattoo, somebody is gay, that's equal to getting a tattoo. Any sin, every sin is equal. But nobody else get bashed for like the wrongdoings that they do. But the, the gays do. I just want to say that. But dad. Get out now! Girl, I think we should go. It's not affecting that. that. It's gonna it happen, happen one day, day or another. I mean, I knew I they, they were religious, religious but, but I didn't think they were that religious. religious. Go away! We're leaving! It's me, Trent. Go away, Trent! We don't want to be ridiculed anymore! No, you're gonna want to hear this. What? We don't want to hear what? Look, Look I, will I will always love and support you, Carl, Carl no matter what, what, gay or straight. I know something, and it's gonna sound really crazy at first, but I... He's gay too? I have to tell you. What is it? Okay. So, I think that dad is gay too. Trent, I think we had enough for one day. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up, what? Wait, what makes him think that? No, seriously, okay. So the other night, Reverend Grant came over. And he didn't leave until the next morning, around 5. We were probably talking about church business or something. No, but this isn't the first time this has happened. Dad and him are so discreet about it. It's like a daily thing with them. Well, that doesn't prove anything. No, no. Two days ago, Dad's room door was slightly open. I walk up to it to close it for him because you know how Dad gets about doors. So, when I look in, I see Dad and Reverend Grant kissing. Unbelievable. That's unbelievable. <laughs> what? Then why would he act like that? Because some parents that have been in the closet their whole lives and they've been told that like, we have this cer certain religion and we don't break it and we're only supposed to do these kind of things. So if they can't be honest with themselves and be com comfortable with themselves when their own kids are brave enough to come out and they're not, Oh, they're, they don't know what to think because they like, oh, my son is braver than me and I could never come out. Out there then. The car's on his chair. Honey, I just want to apologize to you, okay? I'm so sorry about what happened. Look, all you wanted to do was just spend time with my family and... They messed everything up. And now my brother is making up this ridiculous story. He's not making it up. I think he's get us a hotel and we'll leave tomorrow. Hey, Carl, I'm sorry. I wasn't expecting it to happen this fast. And what your brother said I, might be true. It can be hard coming out, especially from a conservative upbringing. Yes, that's true, but I don't know. I mean, you know, when you came out to him, he was fine. But when I came out to him, he got all angry. He's such a hypocrite. I mean, even if that were true, I would, I would still need some. So he probably feels some type of way because, again, you're his son and you're able to come out, and he's not. It's different when he hears from somebody he doesn't know. Sort of proof. Carl, Tony, please don't go. Dad already left. Tony and I are not gonna come back here ever again. I know you might be feeling like you don't belong here, especially after what Dad said. But you're still my brother. I love you. I care about you. You're my family, and we're blood. Family is supposed to be more than blood. Family is supposed to support each other. Family is supposed to be there for each other and no one was there for me today. Come on, Tony, let's go. Carl, come on, don't go. I'm not comfortable here I feel anymore. like his brother was there for him. But you're still my brother and I love you, so if you want, you can come visit us tomorrow at the hotel before we leave. Fine. Okay, yeah, I'll come by before you leave. There's gotta be some way I could prove this before they leave. I 
with lying lips, and whoever spreads slander is a fool. Hey Dad, uh, I'm probably gonna go spend the night with one of my friends from the football team. He's having the whole team over at his house. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, son. Hey, uh, let's not stay up so late and make sure you text me when you get there. And don't forget, we have church tomorrow, so I need you here at 8 a.m. sharp, okay? Okay, okay, promise. Love you. Also, you're gonna be fine alone, right? If you don't want me to go, I can always stay. No, I'll be fine. I'm a grown man. You don't have to worry about me. Go have fun with your friends and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, Dad. Love you. Love you too. I feel like he got a plan. You gotta come down. I'm at your hotel and I need you to come down right now. Major emergency. Okay, I'll meet you down. Get in the car now. Okay. All right, come on, Tony. Trent, what's going on? Just listen to me. Get in now. No, 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 no. He about to take him to see what he been talking about. Get okay, in. okay, jeez, okay. In the back? What am I, your Uber driver? Can you let us know why you're basically kidnapping us, especially at this hour? Yeah, Trent, you said it's some type of emergency. You scared us. Uh, hello? It is. I found a way to prove to you that Dad has been seeing the Reverend. I wasn't lying to you. Before you went back to school, I had to prove it to you. Are you serious, Trent? Come on, this again? How are you gonna prove that? Just watch. This is crazy. Just shh. Okay. Don't be loud. Look, look, I told you. I wasn't lying. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute, are they slow dancing? The Raven look like he gay. Wait a second, they're hugging. This whole time you were right. This is too much. I need a second. Wait, let me see. So this whole time he's just been keeping this from us? So at dinner, he was just hiding who he was? Not just at dinner. I mean, who knows how long this has been going on. I mean, and the way he reacted when I told him I was gay. This is too much to process. See, dad was hiding something from us. At the dinner table, he's probably just too scared to fully accept who he is. We need to go in there. Like right now, okay? He can't keep taking his struggles out on me. Okay, let's go. I will always have your back, and I will always be there for you. I'm gonna stay back here. Uh, that seems like a family matter, but you guys got this. I love you, Tony. I love you, too. Aww. Dad! Oh my gosh! Just, uh... Hey, what are you even doing here? I kicked you out of my house! How dare you set foot in this house! Quit the games, Dad. We saw you and Reverend Grant through the window. Uh, uh, um... Uh, well, it wasn't what it looked like. Y'all was about to get butt naked. Having a Bible study? I didn't know Bible study included slow dancing. It's time for both of you to drop this act. Dad, I'm your son. I love you no matter what, no matter who you are or who you love, okay? Please, stop acting like you're someone you're not just because of what society says. Carl's right, Dad. We will always accept you for who you are, no matter what. We support one another. We work together to accept our differences. We don't just kick people out of the house and continue to run away from these differences. Right. And dad. That's I'm crazy. You learn something from your own kids. Wait, I can relate you. to you. I mean, I used to pray every night just because I felt abnormal for being gay. But you know what Tony has taught me? I'm normal. Being gay is normal. 
You grew up in a super religious house, probably more religious than the one Trent and I grew up in. But it's still a sin. Okay, you and don't look. He's still trying to yell at him about it. Talk about some but it's still a sin. But you're doing it. You say it's still a sin, but you're doing it. Yes, and and the world will never accept us anyway. I mean, come on, a gay reverend, really? I mean, we will forever be shunned for our sin. But since when is love a sin? Human beings are designed to love, especially if Jesus once said, by this, everyone will know you are my disciples by loving one another. John 13, 35. Reverend Grant, <laughs> I'm sure you're under a lot of pressure. Everyone's always coming to you for answers and with that comes a lot of power. But you know what? You can use that power. That power can create change. Change that will make the lives better for people like you, my dad, myself, Tony. That way none of us ever have to feel abnormal ever again. They know he right, look at them shaking their head. That was so beautiful. Jim, you have done such an amazing job raising your children. I mean, they are so much wiser than us, despite being so young. I think it's time that we should end these toxic cycles and rules and norms that we impose upon ourselves, our families, our loved ones. I mean, if we... Yeah, but be ready for how the world's gonna look at you. Don't, how can we expect the next generation to? The buck has to stop with us. Yes. Yes. From this point onward, no one, no one will be shunned for being who they are. Come here. He cheering. <laughs> I want you to go get him. Go get Tony and bring him in here. And I want you and Tony to stay for the whole week, and I want to know him better, and I want to know you better. <sighs> sure oh, thing. That's that. so sweet. <sighs> hey, Lumably fam. Thank you for watching that video. At Lumably, our mission is to bring light. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more videos, and I'm out.